Welcome back to my garage. I've decided to burn out the epoxy, try welding it with um, the MIG welder and flex core wire and um, see how that turns out. Might not be the best option and maybe just marginally better uh, than the epoxy or maybe not better at all. But I uh, think it will be a fun project or interesting to see how it uh, goes and uh, maybe entertaining for you to watch however uh, or either way if it turns out okay or just uh, makes my crank uh, turns my cramp into crank into scrap if uh, my crank is wrecked by the welding I will or the tungsten slugs doesn't uh, uh, the weld doesn't bite or uh, it doesn't work out I will get uh, a new crank just replace the trash it and uh, buy a new crank with uh, a more suitable balance factor out of the box not a Doppler crank uh, okay so um, I'll bring you over and uh, we'll uh, try to burn out the epoxy and then I'll uh, um, try to weld it I managed to uh, get some spatter on the lens when I was filming in the last video so this time uh, when I'm welding I will uh, put you behind a uh, spare welding helmet and we'll see that, how that turns out the video okay here goes nothing Probably not uh, very healthy to breed. Smoldering up fine, so I'll just keep heating it and see how it goes. This may take a while, so. I'll I think I'll bring you back when uh, I've spent the rest of the night digging out epoxy from these holes. Okay, so that um, that uh, went fairly easy, not as hard as I expected. I just uh, heated it up and the uh, epoxy started smoldering. And then I just kind of dug them out or pushed them out with uh, this pick. So uh, I will just uh, clean up the holes and uh, clean the tungsten slugs and uh, I will try to uh, try um, give it a go at welding give welding it a go sorry for the noise it's the heater going it's noisy so uh, welding the outsides went perfectly fine, seems to be uh, good penetration in the slugs and in the crankwebs. Now comes the tricky part, trying to spot when I make a few tacks on the inside of the crankwebs. And that's difficult because it's easy to make con <coughs> contact with the tip uh, on the webs, so I'll have to keep an extremely steady hand and try to position one tack in each hole okay so uh, the welding turned out okay you probably probably can't see uh, that well but um, it seems like flux core welding uh, of tungsten slugs in uh, forged steel crank webs is uh, totally doable. Uh, I did put one tack uh, in each hole uh, on the inside too. What I didn't think about is how do you clean the slug? No, not no, not the slug. The slag. How do you clean the slag off and the spatter from inside of there? So now uh, I can use a file for the flat sides and I think I will have to 
use a tiny uh, grinder bit or something to get in there and as best as I can and inspect it very uh, uh, thoroughly and um, if I can't get uh, all the slag out and uh, the spatter I will just have to give up on this crank and get a new one but anyway MIG welding with flux core in uh, forged steel um, crankshafts totally doable not pretty not very controllable but doable okay so stay tuned for the next episode um, uh, I think that one will be about uh, my homemade um, right angle porting tool like this so uh, stay tuned and I'll try to clean this up as uh, the best I can and um, if it does work out uh, we will uh, start reassembling the engine if it doesn't we will maybe start reassembling with the stock crank or I'll um, get a replacement when I can afford it and then we will start reassembling so please subscribe click the like button uh, leave a comment tell me uh, how stupid I, <laughs> stupid I am yeah see you next time